Hey dogheads, it's a beautiful day today and I really need to get out of the house. So for some well needed fresh air and exercise, I decided it'd be a good idea to take Chase for a huge walk and you are coming with us, let's go. Chase, sit. Wait. Okay. You did a poo, you have to carry your own poo. The dog parks are closed at the moment, but the bins are still there, so we're able to ditch his poo at the dog park bin. So we're heading towards a bike track where you can chase, stop pulling. So excuse the wind, um, it's very windy today, but we're heading towards the bike track where I usually let Chase off. Um, he's usually pretty good, but he's still learning to come when called. He's been doing very well lately as I've been training him to come more. I've always got the treats on me that helps him want to come to me more, makes me more interesting than whatever he wants to do. Sometimes, we'll see how we go. He keeps stopping. Every single bush, tree, log, bit of grass, he has to sniff and it's very, very frustrating. But once we get to the big path, I can keep walking, take him off and he can do his own thing, but still stay near me. It is coming into magpie season and I am terrified we're gonna get swooped. So when I take Chase's lead off, I usually use that as a weapon in case they swoop me. They are terrifying. Come on Chase, keep walking. We don't want to get swooped. Keep walking. What is it, Chase? Heel. Yes, okay, wait. Wait. Okay, go. Good boy. Sit. Stay. Forward. Excuse me. Go. Oh, come here. Sit. Yes. Forward. Sit. Yes. Stay. Forward. Sit. Thank you. So there's no one on the track at the moment. He's just seeing a dog across on the other side. Come on, Chase. He's doing very well, I'm very proud. There are some dogs up ahead, so we're just gonna put him on lead. I got him to sit with me, and now we're good to go. If I can get this lead on with one hand, all right. Never mind, those dogs are going in the other direction, very far in the distance, so I think we're safe to let him off. Chase. Sit, wait, wait, okay, free! Where are you going? Come back, please! Oh, 
one now. Yay, good boy! I'm so proud of you, sit. Yes, that was really good. You nearly ran off, but then you thought about it and came back. Free dog, good boy. So update, I wasn't able to film it because it was a bit of a ruckus and I had to get him under control. Stop chewing the grass. So a man came running past and Chase decided it'd be a fun idea to run after him and bark at him. He didn't attack him or hurt him. He just ran very close and was scaring the man and barking at him. And he does it sometimes and it's very annoying. The poor man stopped running and I was like, he won't hurt you, it'll be fine. Just keep going, I'll get him. The man starts running again and Chase runs after him again. Now I'm telling Chase off. The man walked for a bit and then the man started running again and Chase ran after him again. And I was like, you little rat. I put him on lead and held him, let the man run ahead. And now he's just being a rat bag. I don't know, he's, Chase is in a weird mood today. It's not very nice, but we'll see how we go. I've got him on lead for a bit. I'll see if I feel like letting him off lead later. All right, round two. Wait. Free dog! Well, I thought it was going to be all good to let him off the second time. He went after a bike this time. I don't know why he's being such a rat today. Like, the one time I film a lovely walk, he's an absolute rat. I don't know what's going on with him. It's very frustrating but I'm keeping him on lead for the rest of the time now. That was just so naughty of him. So now, every time a bike goes past, I'm getting him to sit on the lead, and hopefully that'll teach him that every time a bike comes past, he has to be with me sitting. We need to work on it, because he's attacking bikes and runners, and it's not good. So we're back from our walk now guys and it was really difficult to walk, film and control Chase at the same time. So I put my phone down and just focused on working with Chase on lead for the rest of the walk. Social walking can be one of the hardest things to teach a dog and it takes a lot of patience. This is because when on a walk, even in a familiar environment for the dog, there are still going to be new things, new smells, new people for your dog to interact with and be interested in. And Unlike us, dogs don't know what is safe and what isn't until they check it out. So it's very hard to predict how your dog will react in certain scenarios. Usually Chase is fine with bikes and people running. But on the rare occasion, he just goes off at some people and I don't know why. I have a hunch that it's because he can sense if they're bad people or not. I don't know. It's just, it's just a thought. Anyway, to fix this problem, every single time a bike was coming past, I made him sit and wait. And he did great. On lead, that is. When off lead, I try to keep him close and reward him every time he comes back to me. Because your dog needs to know that when coming back to you, it's a really good thing and it'll be in their favour and they're going to get a treat when they come back to you. I'm planning on doing a more in-depth video about social walking in the future with my friend's dog when the COVID-19 lockdown is over and we're allowed to see and interact with other people. And I can't wait to show you guys that. If you would like to be notified when I post videos next, click the little bell button next to the subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.